What is up guys? Alright, so I think that it is safe to say that you guys like the way I dress. Now, first let me start off by saying thank you because seriously I take so much pride in the way that I dress and like fashion is a very important part of my life and like seriously that means the world to me. Every time I see your guys' compliments down in the comments or messages on Tumblr or Instagram or Twitter or anything like that, it like seriously makes me feel so good and I love the fact that you guys enjoy the kind of weird way that I dress. Now, for the longest time people have been asking where I shop, where I get my clothes, stuff like that, and the truth is it's kind of all over the place because like I don't stick to one brand, I don't stick to one store or anything like that. The majority of clothing that I wear is either made by me, i.e. these hoodies, which this is the pink one I just finished, isn't it so sick? I love them. I love my distressed hoodies. These, the t-shirts that I print, which you can see over on my Etsy, which is linked here. And other than that, everything else is generally thrifted, unless it's like a really um, designer piece or something like that. Then I will like shell out a lot more money, but for the most part, everything I buy is thrifted. Now, with all the thrifting I've done in my entire life, I have a lot of tips that I feel like I could share with you guys, and I feel like it would help a lot of you because you guys get to learn from my mistakes. Tip number one is do not go into the thrift store with one item in mind. Don't go in thinking, hey, like, I need a sweater that's white and looks like this, and I need to go get it. Because if you go in with, like, the intention of buying one specific thing, then you're going to probably more than likely leave disappointed, and that'll really bum you out, and it'll affect like your future thrift shopping experiences because you'll be like, eh, there's no point in me even going because like I didn't find what I wanted to last time and it'll just really bum you out. So when you go thrifting, the most important thing is to go in with an open mind. Now, I have taken a couple friends thrifting and it's been kind of a weird experience because it kind of went like this. Now, I mean, I can see why people would think that secondhand clothes would be dirty or germ-infested, but the fact of the matter is that most of the time, number one, if you're buying from a company that is like a franchise or a chain or something like that, they're going to have washed the clothes in the back before they put them out because they don't want to sell like germ-infested clothes. They don't want to sell dirty clothes. They want everything to be nice and sellable, so they're not going to be like putting out clothes that look dingy or gross or anything like that. So you just gotta keep in your head, they are literally like not trying to spread the plague. They're just trying to sell clothes. Thirdly, you need to be patient because patience is so important when you're thrifting because chances are everything is either size organized or color organized and it's all just thrown together. You have to sit through everything. If you wanna find gold and you wanna find the pieces that will like super excite you, you need to be patient and dig through just one item at a time because Chances are the thing that you want is not going to be sitting out ready for you to purchase, like it's not going to be on display. This is a very important thing and it kind of goes in hand with the first tip of like going in with an open mind, but it is that you need to constantly like outside of thrifting surround yourself with lots of outfit inspiration and um, just like ideas of what you like to wear and this outfit inspiration definitely allows you the opportunity to kind of have an open mind and know what you can pull off and what you can like throw together with what and it helps imagine outfits and it just it's really helpful so I recommend like browsing different forums or reading different magazines or <laughs> uh, even following people that you just like the way they dress on Instagram or Twitter or something like that it's just a good idea. I have folders and folders on my phone of just like lifestyle inspiration is what I call it. And so I'll just like screenshot something, add it to that folder, and then occasionally I'll just go through and look at everything. And then I'll be like, hey, like this looks really cool. It would look really cool with this. And it just helps me to create outfits in my mind that can potentially like look really cool. So I recommend definitely constantly surrounding yourself with these different inspirations. This one is so, so, so important because it will save you not only money and time, but like, it, it just saves closet space too. Okay, so when you're out and you're thrifting, uh, I'm sure there are items that you will see that you're just like, wow, this is so sick, like this is such a sick piece. It might be like, I don't know, like a weirdly acid wash tie-dye band tee that you're like, wow, this is so sick. It's just the coolest piece, it's rare, no one will have anything like it, I have to get it. And I understand the appeal of wanting to get it. And there's always like these cool pieces that you're like, heck yeah, this is so sick. But one thing that you need to take into account is 
will you actually wear it, and what are you going to wear it with. And one way that I kind of kill both of those birds with one stone is by picturing outfits in my head that I can like rock it with. So I will go in the fitting room, try on the item, and I'll just picture in my head like different pants I could wear with it, different um, just like jackets I could wear over it, or what it would look like. And so once you have like kind of a game plan, then you know for certain you are going to wear it and it's going to be worth it. This kind of goes in hand with the last tip and that is cheap prices are appealing. Everything that generally you see at a thrift shop is going to be super cheap, but you need to keep in mind that these prices add up. So if you're buying like a whole bunch of $2 t-shirts constantly, that's going to add up and eventually you're going to have spent a lot more money than you think you've spent. So you just need to kind of like keep an eye out on the prices and know what you're buying and don't just go for something because it's cheap. The next one is you need to be smart about where you thrift because every different area has different people bringing stuff in and so you need to keep that in mind. So if you go to a thrift store that's in like a more fashionable or wealthier area of town, it's likely going to have better product than if you go to one that's like more of a, well, since I'm in Tennessee, it'll be like a more rural one, which would be more likely to have like real tree and like Rothko boots. Like it's just not going to have as nice of stuff as the other one. It might still have potentially nice things in it, but if you want to be more certain, just shop smart and go to areas where like people have like taste to you. Especially if you go to cities where like fashion is super important, so like LA or New York or Atlanta or anything like that, they are likely going to have very, very cool stuff in their thrift shops. So definitely go check it out so that you're not only like saving time, but you're just saving like your wallet and yourself. You know, life. All right, now overall, those are like some basic tips that I feel like everybody should know before they go thrifting or if they've never gone thrifting or if they plan on going thrifting or they just never have luck thrifting. Like these will all help. They're very good tips and they're things that like I put into account almost every single time that I go thrifting. So I hope you can apply them. I hope they're good. If you have any other like advice that you can think of, then make sure to comment it below because like, I'm sure somebody will use it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, that's all I got. And I will see you guys on, let's see, what is today? Thursday, Saturday. I will see you guys on Saturday with a story time. Oh my goodness. Seriously, so much uploading.